I'm the maid of honor. Hi, DJ. Hello. Okay, my speech is on my phone, so sorry. Nope, it's not. Well, I'll start by saying thank you to everybody who joined us tonight. I want to thank you for everyone who has contributed to helping in the planning of the wedding. And, oh, I lost my spot. And set up this beautiful and unforgettable night. I want to thank my boyfriend, Matt, for putting up with me through all of this. And letting Matt out, very big part. I want to thank everybody for coming out in the rain and so making it happen outside. Most of all, I want to thank Addie for not being a complete bridezilla and Logan for keeping her sane. <laughs> I've known Eddie since January of 2016. We met in one of our college classes, computer science. When I first met Eddie, I never thought we'd be friends. I thought she was some crazy, preppy girl. She had you know, like bleach blonde hair. Everybody's got the stereotype. Um, but. Then we got drunk together. <laughs> and that all changed. From that night on, we were hooked to each other every night, hanging out. When I learned that Addie and Logan were dating, I had I had known Logan a little bit before Addie because I used to hang out at AGS. But when I found out they were together, I didn't know how he would handle us after the first night of us drinking together. But he pulled through, and he made me proud. Okay, let's skip ahead to the one of the greatest days of my life. They gave, the day they gave me the cutest, chunky nephew, Mav. <laughs> Mav was the perfect addition to, his fam to their family. He had the spunk of his mama, the gentleness of his daddy, and the craving to nap like his Auntie Derb. Math brought them closer together than ever before. Seeing them so in love growing together was so beautiful. Then came the day that Logan accidentally forgot to ask my permission for her hand. I've never been so happy and pissed off at the same time. But Logan, I forgive you. You two never cease to amaze me with your endless love through the ups and downs of, and the curveballs that life throws at you. I wish you guys the best, and thank you for including me in this beautiful night. So, my words of encouragement to the both of you are, take a good look at all these people. They're here to celebrate you and your special day. Everyone here has your back through thick and thin. So I want everybody to raise their glass. Cheers to the Mr. and Mrs. Conradi. May you have a lifetime full of adventures and, most important, love. Now let's party, guys. Deidre! Did you forget something? What? Oh! Oh! Hold on! Fish, you gotta wait! <laughs> um... All you ladies that I talked to earlier, I need you to return your keys right now to the house. Logan is officially off the market. <laughs> So if you have one of his keys to his house, can you please bring it up to me right now? I'm sorry, Abby. No! I know there's still a couple more out there. Oh, Logan. Oh, my God. Father, son, do you know Logan? Father, son, do you? Thank you.
Thank you, everybody. Uh, so, for those of you who don't know, my name is Zach Mitchell. And everybody calls me fish. This guy just likes to call me fat. But, uh, you know, I've had a lot of friends over the years. And uh, I can't say that I've ever had a friend that's been around quite as long as Logan. You know, we've been together since we was in preschool. We got and yeah, they do. They do have some pictures that I'm not proud to show you guys. But uh, I can't remember a time that me and Logan ever hated each other. You know, because over the years, everybody has their squabbles. Everybody has their fights, you know, between friends. But... I can't remember a time that me and Logan ever didn't like each other. You know, he, he's the guy, he got me into hunting for the first time. You know, rabbit hunting, and uh, that was always fun. But it, it was never as interesting as the deer hunting. As his dad, Dale, knows damn well that uh, we, we downed a $10,000 deer together. And it cost Dale a finger. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's never let me forget about that night. But the one, the one thing that I can say about this guy's family is that Dale has never sent me a bill for all the beer it is that me and him have done. You know? And uh, it's been quite a bit. But, uh, you know, I'm not much of a public speaker speech guy and uh, he's just one of my best friends I you know I've he's always been there through all of my life since preschool and uh, I'll never forget that and I'll always be supportive of everything he does in his life and you know obviously Dale for for letting us drink all his beer and uh, even in high school when we used to sneak his cans of chew out of the freezer no matter how nasty it might have been we did it and we regretted it don't, don't doubt that one bit but uh, you know I, I can't I can't say enough about how much I love this guy right here and uh I mean, through years of JFL football, through high school, dropping deers in creeks and spending three hours dragging them some bitches out the woods <laughs> through a field. You know, and Dale, that's the night that cost Dale a finger. He knows all about it. He ain't ever going to forget it. But... Uh, he's, he's one of the best friends I ever had, and uh, I, I'd just like to raise a toast to these two beautiful people. You know, I'm, I wish them a lifetime of happiness, and I hope everything works out for you guys, you know what I mean? Cheers! 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 Cheers!